Hello guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is a nice relaxing after dark clean with me. As you can see, I'm in my pyjamas, nice and comfy and I wanna get the house nice and cozy as well. So I've got the kitchen to do. I also need to run upstairs and do both of the cages as well as my bedroom and just other areas in the house. I'm literally here, there and everywhere in today's video. So I really hope that you find all the motivation that you came looking for today. Do go ahead and leave today's video a thumbs up if you do and let's just jump straight into it so the first thing that I wanted to get done was the washing up because I hate having washing up in the morning so I wanted to make sure that I got it all done before I went to bed so I'm just going to crack on with that and then wipe down all the sides and just get it nice and clean before we move upstairs and tackle everything else So I'm really excited to get the kitchen painted. I've decided to just paint everywhere white because as you can see in this clip, it is quite yellow, especially when I'm filming at night because I have to have the lights on and we have the warm yellow lights in the kitchen and I think they just bounce off the magnolia and just make everything seem really yellow and that's just not a vibe that's not what i'm going for at all so i'm hoping that once i paint the walls white it might just sort of tone down the yellow a little bit and i'm also going to be decorating the entryway and i just can't wait to share all of that with you i'm not sure if i'm going to be filming the kitchen as i might just be painting it white it's not really a decorate with me i'm definitely going to be doing the entryway in a separate video all on its own because i want to completely transform that so i can't wait to share that with you so do go ahead and subscribe if you like home decor decorating type videos because i've got a few in mind and i'm really excited about it but yeah i just look forward to painting the kitchen and getting rid of this sort of yellow tint Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my hair. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. So 
So I'm just going to let everything air dry and I'm going in with the Fabulosa Lemon and Mint Spray. This smells insanely good. It's so fresh. It's perfect for the kitchen. So I'm just going to whiz around and do all of the sides. And then I need to get to the bunnies' cages because it's so much easier to be able to clean that whole room out when they're not in there. So they can be downstairs tonight and I can go up and give it all a good clean without them chewing the skirting boards or nibbling at my feet. I'm just so grateful that Willow lets me pick her up because we would never be able to do this with Cinnabon because we can't pick him up at all. But we have to keep moving her cage downstairs because this is just a temporary cage that will be downstairs permanently or at least until she's like a couple of months old. Um, and then we're going to have a more permanent one in this room here. But it just hasn't turned up yet. It was supposed to be delivered a couple of days ago and it hasn't arrived. But I think it might actually be arriving the day that I'm doing this voiceover so in my next video it might be completely different as you might have her um permanent cage in hopefully fingers crossed it does arrive but um yeah so it's a little bit of a pain because we do want to have her downstairs with us and obviously socializing with Cinnabon as well but we can't have her free roam yet because she's not completely litter trained so we have to keep carrying that cage up and down the stairs because we have her in here now overnight but I'm just really grateful that we don't have to have her in the garage anymore we did that for a couple of nights and I just felt so guilty leaving her out there so I'm really glad that we have that other cage and she can just come up to bed with us and be in the same room as Cinnabon but this is definitely a bunny room now I just I never imagined this would literally be a rabbit room, but it's just so cute seeing them both in here. I also just wanted to explain, because I said that her other cage is going to be her permanent cage, that is only going to be for a few weeks until she's able to share a cage with Cinnabon. They're not going to be having their separate cages forever. It's only until they're able to be put together. So I'm not very good at explaining things. So I did just want to make that clear that it's not a permanent forever cage, but it's just the one that we don't have to keep moving up and downstairs. But they will eventually be in the cage together and I'll have half of this room back, but it's just cute having them in here. So I'm just gonna whiz around, give everything a good hoover over, change the litter tray, clean out Cinnabon's cage and just do everything I can whilst they're downstairs.
So doing all of that always takes me 10 times longer than I expected it's going to because it really isn't that messy. So I don't know why it takes me like an hour to do it. I think it's just because it's such a small space, I'm constantly crawling in and out. It just takes me forever. So I'm always grateful when it's done and I can just whiz around now and give it a good hoover. I'm using my corded backs because of the amount of hay that's everywhere and the suction on this is incredible. So I do have both of my hoovers linked down in the description if you did want to check come out but once I finish this room I can then go into the bedroom because I was really lazy on this morning and I honestly just pulled the quilt over the bed I didn't actually make the bed so I thought better late than never before I go to bed it would be good to actually get into a freshly made bed so I'm just gonna whiz around and get the bedroom nice and clean and cozy So once that was done, I just went ahead and hoovered the stairs and this wasn't actually on my list. I wasn't going to do this today, but as I bought both of the hoovers upstairs anyway to do the bunny room, I thought I may as well go ahead and do them because they were looking really bad. There was just hay all over them. So I'm really glad that I actually had to do the cages today because it forced me to do the stairs as well. So I'm just going to hoover those off and then we can head back through into the kitchen. You keep me wondering Is our love strong? Just like a love song Baby, it's haunting me Don't know what you're thinking It's like I'm sinking deep underwater Maybe it's harder, harder, harder for me Oh, harder for me Maybe we're over it Or maybe just lovers Cause under the covers Baby, you're showing me be fearless no one can hear us you're throwing the pillars through the floor now but you're loving 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 on me hey loving on me maybe you won't see me get emotional and sometimes i pretend i'm just above it all but i want you lying next to me yeah i want your body 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 too so the final thing that I needed to do was to clean the sink. You know that I love a nice shiny sink, so I thought it would be a really good time to do that so I can come down in the morning to a nice clean sink and not have to worry about any tidying and cleaning in the morning, which is always a good feeling. So I'm just going to scrub over with a normal sponge and some washing up liquid. It wasn't really dirty or anything, so it didn't need a deep clean or anything like that. So I'm just going to scrub it over with the soap and get it nice and clean before then going in with some um, sink freshener just to make the drains smell really fresh and nice.
just above it all But I want you lying next to me Yeah, I want your body, body, body too Yeah, body too I really hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you guys more than you know and I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for you. So I just wanna say how grateful and thankful I am to every single one of you who supports me by watching my videos, commenting, liking and sharing. It honestly goes a long way and you guys just mean the absolute world. I love you all so much. And if this is the first time that you've landed on one of my videos, please do go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and also consider consider subscribing and I'll see you guys back here in the next one.